Hey guys, this week we create a kawaii style cute bride and groom topper for a wedding cake or a keepsake. I've got a four inch drum here. This is a UK cake drum, which is solid inside. Another option to use is foam core, which holds supports quite well. I'm covering it in white paste stuck down with water, smoothing it out and trimming off the overhang. I'm edging the board in ribbon. The one I use is 15 millimeters wide. I find it covers the drum and a layer of sugar paste quite well. Just attach this with either double sided tape or a glue stick. Starting with the bride, we're going to shape her dress from white sugar paste with Tylo powder added. We want it to keep its shape. Roll the bottom against the worktop whilst teasing it into a cone shape. With your hand or fingers, tease the base out at one side for a small dress train. Keep pulling the paste up to make it thinner and trim it down so it doesn't get too long. With your thumb and middle finger, pinch in a waist, turning it as you go. Trim off the top so it leaves a slightly wider chest part above the waist. Add water to the bottom and stick it to one side of the baseboard. Dampen a cocktail stick and slide it off centre down the dress. You want to keep the centre clear for the head support. Trim the stick down and leave a small part showing. For the groom, I'm using Renshaw's navy paste. This also has Tylo added and I'm rolling a chunky sausage. Trim a piece out and mark in a line down the centre. Don't cut all the way through. Stand the legs next to the dress and check for size. Keep in mind he will have shoes too. Trim the legs down to the desired height. With brown paste, this is actually modelling chocolate that I just had to hand. Roll two short sausages of paste for shoes and attach them underneath the legs. Stand them next to the dress and insert a cocktail stick down, again keeping it to one side and leaving the centre clear. To keep him more secure, gently tap the cocktail stick down into the drum if it will go. Trim this roughly to the size of his torso. Now don't worry, you haven't missed a step. This is just to show the head size. Choose a polystyrene ball a little smaller than you want the finished head. Then take some flesh paste. Usually I use a ball the same size for ease, but I don't want the head too big. Instead, for this one, I'm using a smaller ball of paste, but it is a tad trickier to cover. Just tease it up gently to prevent ripping. If you find it difficult, just use a smaller ball and the same size of paste. Once you get to the top, roll it tightly in your palm to get rid of the creases and joins. Insert a cocktail stick into the centre and then make another one and set them aside for later. For the groom's shirt, roll a sausage of white, also with Tylo powder added, and trim it to size. Squeeze the top slightly so it makes it thinner. Slide this down the stick onto the legs. Make sure you've given the legs enough time to firm up a bit, or you might make them a bit shorter than you'd originally planned. I've watered down some black paint so it's a wash of grey. Paint a V on the front and colour the remainder in. Also, the shape of a tie on the top. With a deeper grey and a thinner brush, outline the waistcoat, buttons and the tie. You can also add in the shirt collar. If you don't like to paint, you can cut the waistcoat from grey paste instead. With the navy paste, roll it out and cut out a rectangle that tapers in slightly at the top. Dampen the body and wrap it around, securing the top close to the body. Trim off the front of the jacket at an angle. 
the lapel is cut straight down one side with two points at the other, finally tapering down to meet the straight edge. Make one like this and another as a mirror image for the other side. The arm is cut from a thin string of paste and the top cut at an angle. Hold it up to check the size and trim it down again if needed. That's better. Now attach it with water. Add in one on the other side, leaning it ever so slightly away from the body. Take a small ball of flesh, flatten it and attach it to the bottom of the arm with water. Add a little tylo to some flesh paste and roll a short sausage. Place this on top of the dress and merge them by stroking the paste downwards. For the neck, gently tease the top of the paste up into a point. Her arm is a thin sausage with one end flattened out and then rolled thinner underneath it for a wrist. Dampen the hand so it will stick to the grooms and carefully manoeuvre it into position, trimming the shoulder to fit. The other arm is made in the same way but tilted the hand upwards. Carefully lower one head down onto the centre of the neck. It should be obstruction free. Before placing the grooms on, add a tiny ball of flesh for the neck. Hair is cut from brown paste using a circle cutter a few sizes larger than the head. Wrap the circle around the back, butting the circle up to the base of the head. Gather the sides around and tease the excess to the top, which can then be trimmed off with scissors. With a Dresden tool, mark in some hair detail to remove the harsh circle line. For the fringe, roll a piece of paste, leaving it larger at one end. Attach this to the front of the hair, merging it into a hairline. If it becomes too big, give him a haircut. Very dashing. For the bride's dress detail, dampen the shoulders and the front of the chest. Roll small strings of paste and lay them over the shoulders. Press and dimple the paste with the Dresden tool to flatten it and give it a sort of lace effect. Add smaller pieces, heavy on the chest and then phase them out as you go down the dress. Dampen the head ready for hair and take some pale brown, rolling it into long spikes. Twirl the spikes round with your fingers to curl it a little. Stick these to the back of the head at either side. Roll out a larger piece and cut out a fairy door shape. Yep, that's the best you're going to get. Texture it, fraying the ends a little bit. Add this to the head at the height you want and then curve the sides around, gathering the rest of the paste on top and cutting it with scissors again. With a sausage of paste, flatten one edge of it thinner and place it across the hairline. 
push the larger end down to merge it and also blend the thinner end into the hair. Roll your Dresden tool across the top of the hump to create texture all over. Make some smaller spikes into curls and gather them at the back of the head. Cover the join with a thin sausage of paste and texture that at an angle. Finish it off with two more curl strands at the front. With some rainbow dust metallic black paint and a thin paintbrush, paint on a little smile. Black dots of paste create pupils and placing them far apart and low down will create a cute kawaii style effect. Add some eyelashes with paint and also eyebrows. Watered down red gel for the bride's lips works well. Dip a small ball tool into some white paint for dotting on catch lights. Finally, for a blushing bride, roll some pale pink into small ovals and flatten them under each eye. And we're done. A cute bride and groom perfect for any wedding cake or a keepsake anniversary gift. Hope you enjoyed this one. Need to bump up that cake topper playlist. Please feel free to share the video to help the Little Cherry channel. And also don't forget that bell icon below. It's there on the right. Can you see it? Click on that and it will notify you when I post not only videos but community posts and polls too. Thanks guys, see you next week.